Traders, I look forward to sharing my top ideas as always for the upcoming week with all of you, including my precise entry and exit ideas and targets and explaining the exact setups, scenarios, and uh, follow through ideas that I'm looking for. So without further ado, let's jump right into this week's top ideas, starting off with a consolidation breakout that's forming quite nicely in you, in Unity Software. Now, what is the idea here? Uh, essentially, lengthy consolidation, now multiple weeks above a rising close Friday, above a rising five-day moving average, um, with steady decreasing volume, which I like to see as a range contracts within a consolidation as well. Um, and obviously, um, with resistance really aligning firmly with its 200-day um, moving average and firmly above a rising 50-day moving average. Um, so this is a lengthy consolidation that's aligning across multiple time frames. Um, and obviously, it, it has its uh, moving averages working in its favor as well for a potential breakout. So what is the plan in Unity Software? So essentially, if the stock can break above... Um, sort of the 22.50 near the 200-day 22.97 mark. Um, if we can get a steady increase in volume or slight uptick in relative volume, whether that's on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, um, that is when I'll look for an entry, um, be it a lengthy consolid consolidation above last week's high or a lengthy consolidation above the 200-day moving average hold above VWAP intraday. I'd look for a breakout with a stop near uh, the low of day or a breakout and a stop below that consolidation breakout intraday. Um, as long as it conforms across multiple time frames and um, it provides a momentum entry. Now, as the trade works, um, I'm going to be looking to trail my stop on a five minute time frame using higher lows as it's a momentum uh, continuation um, thereafter breaking out. So it's more of a aggressive uh, way uh, in, 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 in trailing a stop versus trading a stop on an hourly time frame, for example. Um, I'll give you an example later in this video. Um, and as higher highs are formed and we get extensions from VWAP uh, intraday, that's when I'd be looking to scale out, out of the position um, fairly systematically, ultimately targeting multiple ATRs in you. Next up, we have a continuation in Bitcoin. For that, we'll look at the leading ETF, IBIT, IBIT. Um, so obviously, we've had near record flows in Bitcoin ETFs uh, lately, and of course, as you know, Bitcoin really prices in a Trump victory here, um, and undoubtedly, it's, it's certainly risk on uh, right now for the for the asset class. So the ideal entry was on Friday. Um, that was certainly the ideal swing entry, um, as Bitcoin does look to be be poking up near uh, or IBIT uh, near 40 and a potential breakout um, with with fantastic momentum behind it. The ideal entry was Friday, and I obviously laid that out in great detail. Um, inside my latest inside access meeting, um, you know, for a recap, clear outline of the idea um, ahead of Friday's uh, short term breakout. Definitely, I urge my members go back, have a listen um, and see how it all played out. Now, going forward, obviously, it all depends on the action uh, in the underlying in Bitcoin. But in the short term, I would really look for higher lows to bold versus Friday's breakout for higher lows to bold versus that on an hourly time frame. Um, and if we get a higher low, or if we get a nice steady hold above Friday's high, uh, looking for a re-entry for more of a momentum entry, um, and that would be trimmed on any ATR extensions above VWAP. Um, but ultimately, after a multi-day extension, I wouldn't be chasing highs. I'm going to be keeping this on very close watch for momentum play, but looking for a after multi-day extension, um, a period of consolidation over multiple days for a re-entry on a breakout for continuation to the upside. Next up, is Baba. I'm really looking for continuation in China stocks for me, namely, you know, that's going to be Baba as a go to. FUTU is another good one. Um, of course, the move was originally sparked um, by extensive stimulus uh, easing announced um, by China and Beijing. Then last Friday, short term downtrend broke after positive economic data was released. We can see the short term downtrend broke. Uh, with a push above the five-day close just below, um, but the short-term downtrend looks to potentially have been broken now. Um, and obviously that came after economic data was released. The move also follows a nice measured pullback from that 117.82 high, a nice measured pullback from where we broke out from near 90. Um, and so ultimately I like this pullback. I would also love to see for the plan going forward, if we can really stabilize above this 102 region um, and start to break out from this declining five-day moving average, see the five-day moving average begin to flatten out a little bit. Um, 
for me, that would then um, get me thinking towards a long entry once I have confirmation of some 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 st price stability above that uh, declining five day. Um, I would look to have a stop at the low of day, um, and that would initially be trailed on an hourly time frame, a higher time frame, for example, versus um, you, which was more of a ag aggressive momentum breakout. Uh, this would be trailed on an hourly time frame. Um, and initially targeting a push towards the sort of 105 region to 107, uh, 107 region of resistance. So really within this band um, of potential resistance, previous support now might act as resistance in the short term, 105 region to this 107 mark. So an initial up move towards 105, 107 to take profits off. Um, and thereafter, um, that's when um, the remaining of the position is going to be trailed versus the previous day's low versus the previous day's low. Next up is NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA after one failed attempt on Thursday at a breakout following TSM's earnings. Um, you know, I definitely don't, don't, don't want to just buy it blindly. Rather, what I want to do in, in, uh, in, in anticipation of an all-time high breakout is I want to see NVIDIA across multiple time frames. I want to see NVIDIA be able to consolidate not only above its rising five-day, but consolidate on an hour daily, of course, uh, uh, with, uh, with multiple inside days, um, but shine across th through its hourly time frame down to the 30, 15 minutes and five minute for potential entry. Um, I would like to see it consolidate just below that 140 mark, setting up a potential momentum breakout through 140. Um, and then I'd be targeting really a momentum play towards 145, potentially even high 140s towards 150. So I'm going to be watching this very closely going forward ahead of earnings um, to see if can align across multiple time frames below 140, setting up a potential all-time high breakout um, and a momentum play through 140, stop near the low of day or below that consolidation breakout, depending on how it sets up intraday um, and really um, targeting a move uh, towards 145, uh, really at the least, unless I'm stopped out in which case we make lower highs and lower lows on a five minute time frame. Some additional names that are on watch, and for this we can go to VWAP and a shorter time frame, small caps, VTAK. Rather, I'm watching this uh, for a push towards VWAP 120s. If we can get a push towards 120s VWAP, um, I'd certainly be looking for that two day VWAP push to fail um, and for a very short term intraday push back down. Uh, towards 8090s, NUZE, very similar. Um, if two does continue to fail, if we do get a push back towards two and it continues to fail, I'd be looking for a short here, uh, targeting a move really back down towards one. Um, but like VTAK, if it does continue to push and start basing above resistance, basing above two, basing above uh, what will become a three day VWAP, um, really basing two to 220 is similar to VTAK. If uh, if news does begin consolidating above resistance, it's hands off. Uh, definitely won't be predicting. Um, might set up a potential uh, liquidity trap and a potential short squeeze. And then lastly, we have Roku, uh, which was on last week's watch list. Never got that base and hold above the previous week's high in resistance. Um, but we did get some nice follow through on Friday to the upside, a nice strong close, which I like. Um, so I'm not chasing this yet. As I mentioned in my previous uh, IA meeting, I really want to see this firm up above 80, spend some time holding, showing me that buyers have the appetite and buyers have stepped up. If it can do that, um, that's when I'd look for an entry versus the low of day for a multi-day uh, push higher and breakout, um, as I spoke in, in, in greater detail and length uh, in last week's watch list. So that is everything for the upcoming week. Uh, let me know what's on your watch list. As always, I, I, I really love reading the comments and I love to hear your ideas and your thought process as well. So drop your top watches in the comments, guys and girls. Good luck for next week. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you all same time, same place next week. So you're an active trader, not doing as well as you want, not doing as well as you deserve. And you just can't figure out why you can't become profitable no matter how hard you try. Well, let me show you why. This is your competition. The traders in this room. This room right here is full of elite traders, some of whom are making seven and even eight figures a year. In fact, our top guys have made nearly 20 million each in net trading profits in a single year. Let's head to my office so I can share more. So you're probably used to seeing videos of lavish trader lifestyles 
trading gurus, trading off of a laptop for an hour a day, heck, maybe even 15 minutes a day, and then them relaxing on some secluded beach for the rest of the day. Well, all I can tell you is that our traders train like pro athletes. They live and breathe the markets and are continually working on their trading skills. Because at our firm, that's what we found it really takes to make it in this game. I'm Mike Bellafieri, co-founder and managing partner of SMB Capital, one of the world's top proprietary trading firms located in Midtown Manhattan. And we're always looking for trading talent to hire and develop. And not just to trade in-house on our desk, but also to trade from their own home, entirely using our firm's capital. And we have numerous traders doing just that, allowing them to make upwards of seven figures trading the firm's capital without risking their own money. But to even get a shot at something like that, you need to have the right training. That's why we're doing a new free online presentation in which we share how you can get an interview with SMB to become an in-house or remote trader, trading firm capital without risking yours and gaining access to all of our firm's coaching and resources. And the best part, you don't have to be a profitable trader yet. In fact, we prefer to mold profitable traders with our methods and our techniques. That's why we have just three simple criteria that can earn anyone an interview. We're looking for highly ambitious and determined traders who fit our culture first and foremost. So if you believe that could be you, sign up for the free one hour online presentation by clicking the link that's in your top right corner of your screen now.